You guys have been asking me for updates on my L393 Cheese Creeks, and here's the update. Please stay till the end, because there's a huge surprise. Haven't gave you guys an update on my L393 Cheese Creeks in a while, but about two weeks ago I moved the female into my 40 gallon breeder. It's a planted aquarium and it's like a jungle in there. And I've been feeding her veggies for the last couple of weeks. And I'm gonna start a, a cold water change uh, regimen that I'm gonna do once every two days for the next couple or three weeks. Try to see if I can get these bad boys to spawn. But the first thing I need to do is I need to get my male out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get him out and give you guys a close up of him and show you what he looks like now. Uh, he's pretty awesome. He usually just stays right underneath this wood or in the cave, one or the other, so he shouldn't be too hard to catch. Whoop. Well, that was interesting. Take a look at that bad boy. He is nice. Check that guy out. He is a nice pleco. Alright. So I'm going to put him in this little specimen container back here. and uh, we'll get him moved. What is up y'all? Got him in here in the tank we're gonna put him in and uh, he's kind of freaking out of course. Um, like I said I've had the female in here for a couple weeks now and actually whenever I put her in here she got up on the glass really good and um, she's got some eggs in her her belly was really good and plump so i've been feeding her veggies over the last couple weeks really good um hadn't seen her until yesterday um the other night i fed cucumbers and um came in here and looked and the cucumber had been ate down really good and she was on it so i decided to go ahead and um thought it was time to go ahead and move the mail over here and that's what I'm going to do. I am going to shut you guys off and get some pretty good little B-roll of him real quick before I put him in. And uh, I'll be right back. What is up, y'all? I interrupt this regular scheduled video to show you that my L393s have spawned. I'm gonna go ahead. I've got a big clutch of eggs inside this cave. I am gonna go ahead and um, get a breeder box ready, get the male out of the cave, and pull the eggs. I am so stoked, guys. Persistence has paid off. 40 gallon planted aquarium jungle for the win. This is awesome, guys. L393 Cheese Creek spawn. Booyah! Alright y'all, there they are. Um, I pulled the male out and um, kind of had to force him out. I pulled on his tail a little bit. It wasn't as bad as the last time I tried to get him out of the cave, but whenever he came plopping out, so did this uh, largest clutch that's put together there and um, I grabbed it with my hand and threw it up in the breeder box here but um, 
than the other eggs that are scattered along about they were still stuck in the cave but guys I have got my L393 cheese creeks to spawn and I know the lighting isn't very good I'm not able to get a really crisp shot of these eggs but man these have been a long time coming I do have a shrimp in there to where we can hopefully get these bad boys um, to hatch out and hopefully we don't have any kind of issues or problems or anything I do got a lot of duckweed in there but it is what it is but I am so glad I didn't edit this video yet and sometimes you got to think outside the box and this tank right here has spawned hundreds and hundreds probably a thousand baby bristlenose plecos I've used this tank I don't know how many times to spawn plecos and I was having issues in the setup that I had them in I knew when I put this female in here I knew three weeks ago that she had eggs in her stomach I could just see it I seen her right here on the glass right when I put her in there big old belly and I let them wait two weeks and then I played the musical tanks and I put the male in here with her and just started feeding the heck out of veggies and here is the result got a really nice clutch of L393 cheese creeks wow guys I don't know what to say this is awesome so what'd you guys think man I have tried everything over the last six or seven months give or take to get these L393s to spawn and I finally did it um, I'm a firm believer in the musical tanks and uh, I just seen on some kind of a post something about this guy that this guy that had a difficult time getting some plecos to spawn he started doing that that 20 percent cold water change every couple of days for like a couple of weeks and fed them plenty of veggies and that's what I did uh, it all came together really good um, and now I've got a clutch of L393 Cheese Creek babies and I couldn't be more happy. If it's your first time stopping by my channel, make sure and go to the playlist section on my channel and take a look. I'm sure if you like this video, you're going to like what you see there. And while you're at it, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for coming along on today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.